Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we did a video a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago, questioned how effective would A-10Cs have been in the 1940s World War II Ardennes, the offensive of the Germans pushing through the forests, how effective could we pick them out and destroy them? And the results, well, we're doing a follow-up now because you guys really got into it and gave us some good feedback. And if you do that, then we're going to do a follow-up. So the outcome was air-to-ground ability of the A-10s, obviously against the type of armor that we would have seen back then was excellent even with uh, an idiot like me with no practice runs could go through and pretty much mutilate uh, a convoy how good were we at uh, if you like evading enemy fire of the time 1940 so we've got the early uh, 88 mil guns plus uh, small caliber ground fire it was well i put the same here it was the same in that we were just as vulnerable to being hit by small arms fire and by 88 mil artillery however that said in this example i got shot directly in the face by an 88 mil round and i survived with only minor shrapnel wounds to the aircraft i'm pretty sure none of the 1940s ground attack aircraft would have taken an 88 and just shrugged it off like that so in terms of evading about the same or about the same kind of speeds about the same kind of maneuverability if anything were bigger than most of the World War II ground attack, but we could absorb a lot more damage. Air to air, how good were we? Or, you know, air to air in terms of surviving? Absolutely terrible. We were jumped at some point by BF 109s. We couldn't outturn them. We couldn't outshoot them because we couldn't outturn them. We couldn't outrun them. We couldn't outclimb them. We couldn't outdive them. There's no way we could have got away from the Messerschmitts, Smiths and we were ripped to pieces. Comments, you guys have put lots of comments in and I've picked some ones out. First of all, weather considerations in that the A-10 is going to be superior in terms of uh, operating in bad weather. However, I'm not sure that's true, RC. I'd like to know your thoughts. Bearing in mind, I mean, this is all complete BS anyway. It's just fun. But bearing in mind, we were told we're not allowed any smart weapons and no teapod. So we're only allowed bombs, with modern aiming system like a CCIP and whatnot, rockets and gun, it, so everything's visual anyway. RC, I mean, yeah. So what, what's the difference, really? You got lasty in that we can compute for wind better, but otherwise, you know, if there's a cloud there, we're just as effective as a as a whatever uh, a ground attack aircraft, right? Sturmovik or yeah. something. So yeah, I don't, I don't. So I don't really buy that. Bearing in mind the considerations of what we were told originally, which is that we could only have dumb weapons and no aiming system, you know, apart from my HUD. Also, you guys said, well, you're using the wrong red air, and it's absolutely right. Of course, we are restricted in that the BF 109s and the Focke Wolves we can have are the 1944-ish variants, much more powerful than the ones at the beginning of the war, much faster. So, for instance. Uh, the K4, the curve first, the mighty curve first, we were using tops out at about, in fact, I've got my thing here, uh, 400, let's say 450 miles an hour, 400, over 400 knots, I think that is. There's no way I could have outrun them, there's no way I could have outclimbed them, there's no way I could have got away from them, especially with a relatively heavy fuel load. But the models we would have seen in 1940, the E models, uh, something like that, would have been much slower, it would have been about 700 horsepower down and would have been about 350 miles an hour. And as long as I got a bit of a running start, I probably could have run away from those, I imagine. I probably couldn't have out dog fought them still, but I probably could have outrun them, maybe even outclimbed them in my A10C2. So that's an interesting consideration. However, uh, none of this is really seeing anyway, so we're stuck with what we've got, which is the K4s. So that's what we've used for the A10. Now, in terms of the follow-up questions, you guys have said, why don't you use an F16? Why don't you use a F14? Well, it's, it's a bit pointless. Obviously, a fast jet would be massively superior i'm not even sure the 88 mils could even track a fast jet obviously the red air wouldn't have any ability to fight with red air uh, with a, a fast jet because if anything we would just turn our afterburners on and mac one away uh, even if we didn't want a dogfight so it seems a bit pointless uh, doing fast air so instead the one i picked out was this you did the a10 now do the SU-25 in the same considerations. So we're going to see if an SU-25 can do better than the A-10s in exactly the same configuration, exactly the same metric as we had in the previous video. That is the curve first, that is the, well, just exactly the same mission, basically. In terms of air to ground, um, it's going to be more or less the same. I don't think it can carry quite as much as the A-10, but it's going to have a modern CTIP aiming system and, and whatnot in the HUD. In terms of soaking up fire, you know, give or take more or less, it's about as tough as an A-10 in terms of redundancies and stuff. Uh, air to air, though, 
Although we're not going to be able to turn with those uh, Meshes Moods, we might be able to outrun them. I don't have the figures in front of me, but I think about 450 knots, about 500 miles an hour, maybe even faster. And there is no warbed that could have done that right. So, as long as we use our tactics right and boom and zoom, I reckon we might be okay with uh, SU-25s. Your prediction, please, RC? I don't have one. Hey, don't RC, doesn't, one. RC doesn't have a prediction on this one. I think we're going to do it right. As long as we don't try to turn fight with them and just do proper big dives from five miles away so we keep real fast, I reckon we'll be fine. I'm not even sure the AAA is going to be able to track us that fast. The old school, you know, they turn so slow, those 88 mils. Anyway, enough babble. Let's go and find out. We've chosen 25 A's rather than 25 Tankos. That is because they're kinematically superior. The only thing really a bet better about the uh, 25 T is its avionics, which we can't use most of anyway because of the game restrictions. We've got the same armaments as the A-10 or near enough. We've got rockets unguided, we've got bombs unguided, and we've got a couple of missiles for self-defense and the obligatory cannon. I think we're going to do great. Every time I fly this, I'm surprised at how good it is kinematically compared to an A-10 and how much that can really help. It's exactly the same mission otherwise, so we know the baddies are coming this time, so I'm going to get set up and try and find the Convoy 7. Oh, I see them already. I'm rocking right. I'm rocking right in. Where? Try and get launch authority. You just have to wait for my smoke stacks. Okay. Can't see them. Watch. Right, I am a bit rusty on this. I'm not going to lie, valid views, but that's okay. And wait, 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 wait. Drop. If that worked, fingers crossed, and it did. Perfect. Ah, oh, got it. Slash missed a bit, but that's okay. Those Panzer One. Thingy is down there. I want, can I drop multiple bombs in a pass, RC? What yeah. Can we do? You just right. got pulled trigger multiple times. Roger, well, RC. You can rip all, but... Remember, RC, that we've got to keep fast. It's no good A-10ing this. Yeah. We've got to go up high where those guys can't get you because they will be here in a few minutes. We've got to use our, our kinematics. And as soon as you've finished with your pods, dump them. See if we can do more damage. It'll be interesting how many guys we killed with the A-10s, actually. I'm just a big fan of the 25. It's really... Fast. Ah, got it. Go on. Couple. Of nice. Okay, rolling in. Was that bombs yeah, or rockets? Drops, bombs. Roger. Okay, I'm gonna try doing the same. Right. Careful. She does over speed, so be careful yeah, when I die. Pull too many times, you'll wind up firing some rockets because it'll Roger. automatically switch. That's okay with me. I can't actually see them with my old man eyes, but that's okay as well. I've got my babies. I've got my babies. I can't seem to fire with wings level at the moment. So I'm a bit inaccurate. Boom! Yeah! Three! Three RC. Nice. Tell me that's not friggin' awesome, right? Keep fast, 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 especially in the upwind. Haven't been hit by the 88. I can see the explosions all around me. But I don't think they can track a target this fast, as 88s. I doubt it. Because they weren't designed to. They weren't designed to turn around that quick. And I'm... I wish I had miles per hour here. I don't know how fast I am, but... I'm fast, my wings are shaking, I'm so fast. Right, going around for rockets, RC. I might even be able to do a, a little bit of air show. I haven't found my speedo yet. Oh, yes, I have, there it is. Oh, I was going real fast, RC. I was going 800 quicks now. That's 500 knots, RC. 8 divided by 5. I do see the 88s in the air. I, don't, I see the explosions, but not near us. Well, don't, yeah, I don't think they can track us. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm going to come in at 500 knots. Right. I'm actually going engine off for the attack round because I'm so fast. Yeah. Okay, I see all of them. They're annoyingly spread out. Yeah, I wonder why. Because they want to live. Oh, nice. Look at that. Did you see that destruction, RC? Yeah. If they're not blowing up, they're cooking off. They will be in a minute. Right, and all of that I kept at 700 clicks per hour. That's about... 450 knots, I think. And doing that in the A10. Right, I'm going to dump my uh, stuff now so I can get real fast. Right, now I'm real fast. Let's go to guns. I haven't seen the BF 109s yet. No. We, have, we are destroying that convoy, RC. I can't see. I can't see any. There aren't any targets left, RC. I mean, you know me, I don't like showing off. Scratch it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Tell me you can crash into the ground, RC, like you do every single no, time. No, I, I did. It's in my missiles. That's a problem. That's a you problem. That's all right. Guess, you won't need them. You'll never get a lock on it. You'll never get a lock on a BF-109 anyway. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm going to cheat and look on F-10. 
They're here. They're here. They're not catching me up, though. I can tell you that. All right. 900 kilometers an hour. That's 550 yeah, knots. Going in for burp, burp. It would help if you hit right alt H. It'll bring blast down and put the Damn radical it. better. I like it. Yes, it is, I see. I made you smell my tail. <laughs> I, got, I got like a, four of them chasing me, I see. They're all right here behind me. <laughs> hey, losers. They're all set to max skill level like oh, before. Yeah, I'm just now climbing them. Watch this. Afterburner's on. MiG-21 engines. Nothing like it. Look at that. Look at it. Pull upwards. Accelerate. What are you going to do now, little douchebags? Look at them try and follow me. Meh. I'm right behind now. Feel free to What's shoot me angle? down. Oh, God knows. I'm climbing really high. Right, they've given up on me, RC. I'm turning back in. I knew this is what was going to happen. This is so cool. Okay, I merge with them, and they're like, what is this futuristic spacecraft that we can't keep up with? Ha ha ha! See you, douchebags! Okay. Try and shoot them down, RC. You shoot them down. I'm going to carry on the convoy with my gun that I can't use. Oh, sweet. I was on full left rudder. That probably didn't help. I'll say it probably didn't help. You and your left rudder. I can't help it. I'll put it out of my lap, and I can't. Feel my legs because they've gone numb. Can't feel my legs. Oh come on! I'm freaking now those guys. It's ridiculous. We're really going to struggle to die. I haven't had a single AA shell near me. Oh, I got a hit. I got a hit on one. I'm going to come and fight. I'm going to come and dog fight now. God, this is so yeah, maneuverable. Such a brilliant fight this is. Right, where are they? Oh yeah, here we go. Cap merge. Okay, going into ACM. Oh, nearly got a lock. Burner's on. Okay, I'm on his six. Come on, douchebag. Give me what you got. Can't maintain a lock. You have to maintain a lock few three seconds or something it's impossible okay i'm going guns i'll just go to the rifle rc that's what i'll do missed it sure is different from the a10 though rc i'll tell you that yeah we were just getting eaten alive oh got one coming up oh sugar i'm hit i'm hit i'm hit i'm getting out of here you're hit? Yes, but I'm going to add... Uh, well, he, he sucked me into a trap and his mate came at me. Luckily, I am literally built like an A-10. Burner's on. Ha ha ha! See you, douchebag! Catch up with this! You can try to catch up. He can't catch me. He can't catch me. I'm out of here. See ya! The only thing that can stop me now is my lack of fuel. You know what? Let's test your climb rate. <laughs> Come on then! Come on then! Taking him up to Angels 15 already. I think he's given up. I'm pretty sure those half tracks don't have uh, 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 damage models because I couldn't even kill them with a Gal 10. But look, this guy's finally following me. Look at this. He's about to stall. He's about to stall. He stalled! See ya, douche. Douchey douche. Never, never get bored of how good this is. Anyway, I'll see. We go to end the movie because the valued viewers are like, I'm bored. Yeah. Okay, valued viewers, I hope you enjoyed that.